Breaking on your Sunday morning, taking a live look at the Zakem here in Boston. We can see the sun kind of poking through some of the clouds there, and it is going to warm us up today, too. You'll need those sunglasses, and also you can ditch the coat, which mm -hmm. will be great. Meteorologist <laughs> Jackie Layer is standing by. Jackie, sounding like patio weather today. Yeah, we're tracking high temperatures soaring to around the low 70s later on this afternoon. We'll be a bit breezy at times, but at least it's a warm breeze out of the south and west. So, yes, warmer today compared to yesterday, even though yesterday was still above average for this time of the year. Multiple chances for some rain as we look ahead towards the work week. I'll have more details on that with that seven days, a couple minutes. Also, not only that, also tracking temperatures above normal as we look ahead towards the week as well. But let's talk about visible satellite. We are tracking a thin veil of clouds over Boston, even right along the South Shore, Cape and the islands. But at least that sunshine can still uh, pierce through the clouds right now. But elsewhere, back off towards the west, we are tracking clear conditions into Western Mass and even portions of Worcester County right now. That is giving way to those warmer temperatures. But as I mentioned before, that sunshine still able to pierce through the cloud cover, allowing those temperatures to warm up. Keeping an eye on this cold front off towards the north, that could spur up a few spotty showers later on this evening. But it looks like the bulk of our day is dry. 66 already right now in Boston, 65 in Norwood, 63 in Worcester, and also 63 coming in in Fitchburg. Slightly cooler for the Cape and the islands into the 50s. And the reason why is because of the wind direction. Those winds mainly out of south and west, those between 15 and closer to 20 miles per hour. And those winds are coming in off the cooler ocean water, so I'll keep temperatures a touch cooler. South coast Cape and the islands through this afternoon. So timing out the rest of your Sunday by 2 p.m., a mixture of sun and clouds, but we'll likely see increasing cloud cover later on this afternoon into the evening. By about 2 p.m., tracking those temperatures low 70s for many locations. By about 4 p.m., we'll see more clouds and even a chance for a sprinkle or two as we look ahead towards sunset after sunset. Then later on tonight, tracking scattered showers across the region. Those push outs will get towards Monday morning commute by 7 a.m. We should be dry under mainly cloudy skies. Temperatures starting off upper 40s to low 50s. Clouds sticking around for our Monday, and then we see another round of some showers looking towards Monday evening and through the overnight hours. Today, though, we're tracking mainly dry conditions, a chance for a few of those spotty showers later on this evening. Those highs today, upper 60s to low to mid 70s, but it will be cooler at the Cape. The Cape likely around 60 degrees for those high temperatures today. Sunset this evening is at 745. Now tonight, we'll see mainly cloudy skies and a chance for some scattered showers, especially around 11 p.m. Those overnight lows, upper 40s to low 50s. Timing Monday shower chances looks to be Monday evening and through the overnight hours and then still lingering into Tuesday morning. Could see a few more spotty showers Tuesday afternoon, but not nearly as widespread, but then more widespread spread rain on the way for Wednesday as another low pushes into southern New England and bringing some more rain chances to the region, which is good news for the allergy sufferers. We will likely see Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday that pollen count does lower. But today we are seeing a bit of a peak, especially for tree pollen for your Sunday. Here's a view of the rest of that seven day forecast. So low 70s today that is the warmest out of that seven day forecast. But as I mentioned before, slightly cooler at the Cape 60s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday. But Thursday looks to be the nicest day out of that work week under mainly sun filled skies.